Some of our regulars continue to share their tips and recipes from home, and that includes Neil Denton. Today he shares um, some advice, not recipes, but advice with us on tackling a home project. For our home producers of fruit and also certain ornamental trees like crab apple, one of the common things that we find is something called cedar apple rust. And cedar apple rust is a disease that spends half of its life cycle on the cedar or a juniper and then half of it on a prunus species, something in the apple family. And you can see here the different rust forming on the fruit of the crab apple and also you'll see the rust spores on the leaf. Now control of this is often a kind of a hard thing to do this time of year. Actually you can't control it. It is a preventative thing and also getting cultivars of plants that are resistant to it in the prunus or the apple family. So there are cultivars that don't get it. But if you have one that's susceptible, a home apple tree or a crab apple and you want to control it, the thing to do is actually when you see big masses, gelatin type things form on cedars or junipers, spray your plant with chlorothalonil, which is a fungicide. And do that every 10 days as long as you're seeing those masses of the cedar apple rust form on the cedars. That's when the spores fly to land on the prunus species. If you protect them then, and usually that's in March or April, uh, early spring time frame, you will not end up with much cedar apple rust on your crab apples or apples. So it's one of the things you may see, the spiky little fruit and the rusty spots on the fruit, and it's just a common disease in an area filled with as many cedars as we have. So don't stress out, just be prepared to control it next year.